followers. Welcome to this video. Let's see all you need to know to start using the newest Camtasia Studio 9 for the first time. Leave us comments below if you have ideas to improve our future guides for Camtasia Studio. Camtasia Studio is a great software used to record your screen and audio, but also includes a complete video editor where you can edit and customize your media files and recordings. When you open Camtasia, a startup dialog box opens. Under Get Started, choose what to do. Click on New Project to open the main Camtasia interface to start editing your media. Click on New Recording to use Camtasia Screen Recorder and start recording your own screen or any audio. If you have any Camtasia project saved, you can click open it by checking the list under Recent Projects or use Open Project to browse for it. Below under Tutorials, you can watch several videos from TechSmith in order to get help with the features you need. Let's start with a new project by going to New Project. Before starting, you have to import your own media files such as videos, pictures, and audio inside the timeline below, which is the heart of the video editor. On the far left, under the Media tab, browse for all your files to import. Inside Library, you have a list of video, background, and audio samples inside Camtasia that you can import by clicking and dropping them on the timeline below. To import media from your computer instead, you can simply drag and drop them directly on the timeline. All files imported inside the timeline are collected inside the media bin pane on the left and are contained inside several rows, also called tracks. Each file is represented as a rectangular block called clip, with the file or sample name on it. Then, if the clip is related to any video or image file, it will show small thumbnails on it. Very useful to recognize each clip. If you have audio clips, its sound waveform is shown. If a video clip has audio inside, you will see both thumbnails and sound waveform on it. If the clips are extended too much in time, just regulate the timeline zoom by using the zoom bar right on top. The preview right on top is very important while creating your videos. This shows the overall content inside your timeline exactly where the main playhead is placed. So, click on the timeline to preview a particular frame of your video, or click and drag the playhead to check your video more carefully, onwards or backwards. Consider that both the file name and its thumbnail will be hidden when they meet the playhead. To fully play back your project instead, use the player right below the preview. Let's better check the timeline. All the tracks inside it are equal, but indeed their order is very important. For example, if you have video or picture clips that do overlap during time, the preview shows the clips placed on an upper track always above the clips that are on downer tracks in position. Also, each track has two great options to manage your timeline content. The eye icon is used to enable or disable the track. A disabled track hides all its content inside. The lock icon below locks the track, which means that you will no longer be able to edit its content until you unlock it. To insert new tracks or delete one, just right-click on a vacant space. Let's see now how to do basic editing on your clip. Each clip can be moved in time in the manner or in another track by clicking and dragging them. In case of video clips with audio, you will move both video frames and audio as they are a unique clip. But if you need to manage them separately, just right click on the clip and go to Separate Audio and Video. Split a clip in two, 
set the instant of time by placing the main playhead and then use the split button on the left or the S key from your keyboard. Remember to use the undo and the redo buttons in case you make any mistakes. These are used to manage all your actions made inside Camtasia. Even more, you can edit the clip appearance as you like. Next to the preview, you have the properties button. This shows all the main properties for the selected clip you have inside the timeline. These are divided between the visual properties, indicated by a frame icon, and the audio properties, indicated by a speaker icon, that are shown depending on the kind of clip selected. For example, if you select a picture, just the visual properties appear. If you select any video with audio, both visual and audio properties will show up. The visual properties adjust the clip appearance, such as its scaling and opacity level, its inclination and position. You can use the precise settings on the right or work directly on the preview. For example, you can move the clip by clicking and dragging or scale it by using the nodes around it. Make sure to use the ones on the clip corners to lock the aspect ratio. Rotate the clip by using the right node on the center. To reset any applied modifications, just use the reset button. Under audio properties, you can adjust the clip volume by regulating its gain level. You can adjust the clip volume directly on the timeline as well. When you select an audio clip, a green envelope line appears, representing the applied volume during time. You can pull it up or down to regulate the constant volume. Or, if you double-click on the line, you will add points that are used to change volume and time. Just move them up or down to set the volume level of where they are placed. Or, right-click on them and go to Delete to delete them. You can also crop picture and videos directly on the preview by using the crop tool on top. Just use the clip nodes to set the clip area you want to save. Inside Camtasia, you can also adjust the playback rate for each clip in order to play them slower or faster. To do so, just right click on the clip and go to Add Clip Speed. Then, if you press or shorten the clip from the blue icon, So without cutting any of its content, a rate lower than one means a playback speed lower than the original one. Otherwise, a rate higher than one means a clip that plays faster. On the left, under the media tab, you have other amazing features inside Camtasia that we won't see in this beginner tutorial. Remember to save your Camtasia project in progress by going to File and then to Save As. This saves all your status inside your timeline, including all the settings applied on each clip. But to obtain the final video to play and upload, you have to render it by going to the Share button on the right. Choose Local File to render your project inside your computer. After choosing the file format, the video resolution under the Size tab, and the video frame rate and quality under Video Settings. Or else, to render and upload your video directly on social websites, choose the proper one from the Share button list. Camtasia Studio is also used to make recordings from your screen, webcam, or audio. To start recording, click on New Recording on the Startup dialog box or on Record on the main editor. These open Camtasia Screen Recorder that appears as a small dialog box with all the main recording settings inside. Under Select Area, choose Full Screen to record your whole Area by checking the overall resolution under the region where you can eventually lock or unlock the aspect ratio. 
system audio and the audio coming from your microphone unit. More on the right, regulate the volume to be applied to the audio. You can adjust other important settings going to Tools and then to Options. Let's see the most important ones. Under the General tab, you can choose whether to record a ADI or a To do so, you need a TREC file. TREC files are formats managed by Camtasia Home. Very useful to record both video inputs. In fact, when you input this file into the timeline, two video independent clips are shown. One for the screen recording and the other for the webcam. This TREC file can be used directly outside tab, regulate the frame rate for your recording by choosing in the list or typing inside. To start recording, just click on the record button. After a short countdown, Camtasia will hide on the taskbar. When you open it, you can use its interface to delete, pause, resume, or stop the recording to save it. The recording done will be added inside the media bin panel ready to be imported inside the timeline. If you don't know where recordings are saved, just right-click on these, go to Open File Location. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our channel for more amazing and free video tutorials.